Hey everybody, this is Joshua, the tendonitis expert. And this video is about what is arthritis. But to answer that question, we need to know what kind we're talking about. So let's talk about that. There are two primary types of arthritis. It doesn't matter where it shows up. It can show up anywhere there's a joint, but there's two different types of arthritis and they're totally different animals. So the first is osteo arthritis and the second main type is rheumatoid arthritis and that kind of lumps together all the autoimmune arthritises but we'll go with rheumatoid arthritis as the main the main label the main name so again, these can both of these can show up anywhere. Rheumatoid arthritis has its favorite places to show up. Fingers, wrist, some elbow, some knee. Can, again, it can show up anywhere, but it has its favorites. Osteoarthritis can also show up anywhere, but it's most common for people with whip, old whiplash issues and the elderly just because all the compression happens for so long osteoarthritis of the shoulder, fingers, wrist, knee, ankle not so much but it certainly happens. Hip is a big one for osteoarthritis. Hip replacements almost entirely from decades of, oste of osteoarthritis. So those are the two primary types of arthritis. That doesn't tell you what it is. It a little bit tells you what causes it, but the important thing to know when you're talking about arthritis, when you're talking with your friends and your family and your doctors especially, is you shouldn't use the general term arthritis because it's too vague. It doesn't give enough specifics. If you have osteoarthritis and you don't treat the causes of the osteoarthritis, then the osteoarthritis isn't going to go away. If you have osteoarthritis and they're giving you rheumatoid arthritis drugs, it's not a fix. Of course, if you're taking rheumatoid arthritis drugs for rheumatoid arthritis, that's not a fix either. It just suppresses symptoms, but that's a different page and different video. So we're asking, what is arthritis? Now we know there's two different types, osteoarthritis and rheumatoid arthritis. So let's look at that from a different angle. So what is osteoarthritis? Osteoarthritis is, and I should back up a little bit and say that arthritis equals inflammation of a joint. So you already know this for sure. We're just covering the basics. Arthritis means inflammation of a joint. That can come from two different directions, osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis. What is osteoarthritis? It is a dynamic where muscles are tight, these muscles cross the joint, and when they're tight, they pull the joint, sorry, they pull the lower leg this way. So you can see how that would cause compression of the joint. Doesn't matter what's the fingers or the wrist or the elbow or the neck, it's all the same. Tight muscles cross the joint, and they pull the other side into the joint. So the joint is compressed. That means it's pressing on each other, it's grinding on each other. So every step you take, all day while you're standing, the joint is grinding on itself. Do that for weeks and months and years and decades, and that's going to cause irritation and inflammation and pain and eventually damage. When you have bone on bone, that's because you've had inflammation and compression for decades and it's damaged the joint. So that's osteoarthritis. Now let's look at what is rheumatoid arthritis. And we'll use the knee as well. So rheumatoid arthritis is an entirely different animal. Rheumatoid arthritis is your body is attacking the joint. Your immune system is attacking the interior of the joint. So your joint lining gets irritated and inflamed, and that tells the body to tighten up muscles to guard and protect. So of course you have some of this happening. You're also getting compression of the joint eventually because the pain causes tightness because that's what the brain does. And then you have compression as well as your immune system continues to attack your joints. Now they do this because 
Let me draw a great little stick figure real quick. Do, 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 do. I'm an awesome artist. Got a little pipe. Anywho, uh, rheumatoid arthritis is the result of a damaged gut ecology. You have your intestines and your guts, and when the ecology is messed up, then you have damage to the gut tissue lining, then you have little proteins slipping out into your bloodstream, and your immune system thinks those are invaders. So they go attack, they go attack those. And long story short, that ends up with one or more joints being attacked as well. Inflammation, irritation, eventual damage. That's the rheumatoid arthritis dynamic. There's more to it, of course, than that, but the main point is rheumatoid arthritis is a symptom of a damaged gut ecology. So if you want to fix the rheumatoid arthritis, you have to fix the cause. You have to fix the gut. If you want to fix the osteoarthritis, you have to remove the compression. And of course, there's reasons why you have compression, and there's reasons why you have damaged gut ecology, but that's for a different page and different video. Right now, what there is to know is that the answer to what is arthritis breaks down into two different categories because there's two different types of, os of arthritis. Osteoarthritis, which is tightness and compression, equaling eventual irritation and damage. And then there's rheumatoid arthritis, which is your immune system attacking the joint, which causes irritation and inflammation and eventual joint damage. If you would like to find out more on the topic of what is arthritis, then visit my website. And there's a link to that below this video, www.tendonitisexpert.com backslash what dash is dash arthritis dot html.